All right, so for assignment 4.1 UDL part two, uh, last week you developed foundational understanding about UDL, and this week you'll apply key practice for UDL, which is called barrier analysis. And you're gonna do that for two situations. One, a recent learning experience that you engaged with as a learner, um, and then uh, to an upcoming learning experience that you're designing with you as the teacher, the designer of that learning experience. You'll submit uh, a barrier analysis for that recent learning experience, a barrier analysis um, and an adaptation to reduce the barrier uh, for an upcoming remote learning experience that you're designing. Um, you're also going to design an assessment that I take uh, to see if I really do look at your work, which I do, but I guess we'll see, huh? Um, so you'll, you'll actually design an assessment for me. Um, and then I'll also have you do a tech tool reflection this week, how you're going to submit it. You get to choose the means to, to express your responses, really. Like, if you want to talk it through, talk it through. If you want to write some of it, talk some of it, fine. Um, you, I really want it to be the, the way that's most effective, uh, both time-wise and uh, expression-wise for you. So you'll choose the means by which to express your responses. At least some of your response can be just one question. It can be a, a whole section, one of these entire sections. Um, at least one of re your responses needs to be expressed using a tech tool in a way that the, the tech tool is going to push your learning. So like editing audio or video. Video editing was a big uh, suggestion last week of what folks were going to learn next. Um, or you could do video with a live whiteboard overlay. Um, and I've provided some suggestions at the bottom. You'll also, of course, submit your assessment so you can t tell whether I actually read through your stuff. You should probably check out the barrier analysis information below. Um, and if you need to, there's also more information about barrier analysis in the UDL materials uh, from previous weeks. Uh, information. So if we go down there, the UDL stuff, this will look all familiar. And then these are the, the um, resources you had last week. And down here is uh, what barrier analysis is all about. And I guess uh, what I'll do is I'll read through those just uh, right now because it's fairly quick uh, narration. Um, if you feel like you've got it, you don't need to listen to this. But if you want to hear a little bit more about barrier analysis, go ahead and listen to this. Uh, so Bear analysis of learning experiences. So when students don't learn what we hope, there's usually something about the learning experience that gets in the way. And as designers of those learning experiencing experiences, targeting the variables over which we do have control, is usually more effective to reduce those barriers than it is to target variables over which we have little control. And critical assumption of UDL is that UDL aims to change the design of the environment rather than to change the learner. When environments are intentionally designed to reduce barriers, all learners can engage in rigorous, meaningful learning. And it's a straightforward but powerful way to proactively reduce barriers created by the learning experience. Um, especially when we think about the fact that learners' variability is generally predictable. So one approach, choose a learning context you want to analyze. Uh, review a component of the targeted learning experience, identify several possible barriers, and then suggest strategies to reduce those barriers. Um, and I included a flow chart here, but really at the end of the day, it's about like identifying what got in the way of uh, the learner's learning or what is likely to get in the way of the learner's learning. Um, so if you have any questions, I'd love to hear them and I hope you enjoy this.